Here we are. We meet again, my mortal enemy. Yes, hello, <laughs> best friend. Sure, backstabbing little fiend. All right, so welcome guys to another music battle all or ongaku duel, where we select a genre, a theme, and we bring an anime intro or an outro or a piece of... <laughs> uh, and, and we just put it to battle. Now, Miss Christina here is... Uh, professional violinist, violist, uh, pianist, uh, orchestral, Ew, not whatever. <laughs> well, you you are something. You're, I wish. <laughs> you, you, your opinion musically matters more than... A, <laughs> than All the than string most. instruments. <laughs> the string instruments. And a, I, I am a ratchet drummer. But regardless, we, we decided that we are going to bring now... Uh, this anime intros to battle each other. We will dissect them. We will analyze them and We have our criteria for them complexity originality Catchiness and playlist worthy based on those four criteria, We will analyze these songs and rate them at the end. We will see which one is superior today's genre is the ballad genre so very hard one especially for anime openings it's really hard to find ballads because we've all seen that meme that's like got kermit the frog and he's like <gasps> for like the anime <laughs> intros and then the and then the endings are like the sad rainy like with the hood on yeah like. so ballad openings are really a, hard to find yes they are but we have some contenders into the ring and without further ado we're going to start with your contender. Yeah, definitely a show that many people know and love. Uh, this would definitely be considered an oldie, but goodie. I know a lot of people are going to know it. Yeah. And I think you might as well. Yeah. You just can't beat it. You just can't beat Fruits Basket, man. Fruits Basket. All right. So we we have we have Fruits Basket as, as the contender. For, uh, for today's ballad from you. You're and, welcome. Okay. So let's uh, let's let let's, let's go again. We will dissectly as unbiasedly as possible. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Right off the bat, right off the bat, my girl killing me with those vocals. It's now, it's been a freaking long ass minute since I've listened to this. So it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a little fresh. Um, mm -hmm. It's not as fresh in my memory, but this is going to be interesting. Right. Mm. Give it. Right now, I have to say the the way the piano and the vocals are working, uh, the vocals uh, is giving this the this melody is kind of giving uh, is is carrying the music, but the piano is here to enter on the spaces in between the vocals and fill it up as if it was another type of vocal. Uh, so that that is very very good. I love when they do that because a lot of times it can be like. One of those, uh, one of those instances, ah, where uh, the songwriter writes the uh, the piano or the guitar, especially doing something like as soft as this, where it's just to kind of go along with it, just the regular like four chords, and it's just there. Mm -hmm. But the vocals are the main, uh, the the prevalent part. Here they're playing off of each other. One is going in, one is going out, and that. That adds uh, definitely mm -hmm. points. That definitely adds some points. So, mm. oh, <laughs> oh, those little sparkly things. Okay, <laughs> okay, have to bring it back again. Uh, I am a I am a complete slut when it comes to uh, in songs uh, the drums being used properly. 
Mm-hmm. Here's here's what I mean by that. A lot of times, uh, drummers tend to just because people kind of like don't see the drums as something that can be complex just because you're like like hitting on the things. Uh, believe it or not, drums have notes. <laughs> you just said why drums mm-hmm. have notes, and uh, and there is no one specific drum sound. But whenever I listen to this type of songs. I want the drums to be the ones to like just wrap the song around. And it's doing it with the soft hit of the hi-hats. And it's not hitting the snare drum. It's hitting the rim of the snare drum with the um with the um with the drumstick to the side. And it's giving this like very very, mm-hmm. very echoey, very echoey hit. So here it it just goes fantastically and obviously we have the little strings going on as we enter the chorus it is it is a very nice progression it's starting with just the vocals piano then vocals piano drums then the strings and probably like everything will come into into it now but Ooh, nice, nice, hold on. Yeah, okay, nice vocals. (laughs) She's not done, she's like, uh, ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. She had to do it again. Yeah. She, <laughs> like, let me let you know subtly that I'm this shit, okay? Sustain it at that nice little vibrato in the voice. Right, Carrie. Well, damn. Okay, yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. And I love that they brought this opening back from the original. When they redid it for this new season, they kept the original opening, which I think is just like really cool. It has nothing to do with, with the music, but I'm glad <laughs> yeah. that they brought it back. They could have easily just been like, yay, this is time for a new opening. But they're like, nah, we're going to keep those original fans so they don't. You know, they give this show a chance. <laughs> Take notes. Hollywood. Smart move on their part. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So, in terms of ballad, complexity is not very complex. Aside mm-hmm. from the vocals. The vocals are not easy to do. The, the high pitch range, the, the going in and out, the, the way she sustains some of the notes, the way she adds, like, subtle hints to uh to complex notes are uh that it, it is very very good very interesting so vocals definitely complex uh instrument wise the piano yeah it's got its thing going uh but in regards of the drums it's incredibly simple too so it's not necessarily complex instruments wise originality and I have to give this props for it. The voice is what gives the originality part to this song. It's mm-hmm. structured in a very ballad song. So it's not like it's going to uh, deviate too much from it. Yeah, or else it wouldn't be that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, catchiness. Yeah, 100%. A very, very, very catchy. If I was listening to this song on like and i was the passenger on a car and it was raining i would definitely be in the music video just like yeah Yeah, my life oh so complex so broody uh definitely definitely play playlist worthy a hundred a hundred percent so uh i'm going to the 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 one point that is uh that is definitely deducting points from this song but it, then it's being made up by 
is the uh, originality, but then the vocals save it a lot. So mm -hmm. my complaint would be that uh, I was, I would have liked to, to hear a little bit more strings, maybe, maybe the bass a little bit more pronounced just to give more body to the song. It felt a little empty once we reached the chorus. They kind of kept the same instruments going on. Um, but yeah, I just felt like it, it, it needed a little bit more more body, more roundness to it. Uh, it wasn't thick enough. It wasn't thick enough. But uh, it's still a pretty high score. So... Um... All right. I do agree with you actually on a lot of those things. It's funny how you can take a genre as simple as a ballad and it still carry itself. You know, mm -hmm. as far as originality and because originality is a tough one because it's music is such a, oh, this is just the way we do it kind of structured thing. Mm -hmm. But when you can make that special, that's when you've like really hit something, you know, because everyone can take that music formula and make a song. But to make it where you actually like it and it's not the same thing as everything you've heard, that is special. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Okay, I have okay. written down my my rating for all of them, for all, all of them, and the overall score. And today, I'm bringing into the fold the opening for Anohana, or the flower that we saw that day. Now, I will admit that I've seen part of this show, and I've talked about it on stream, like, I think once before, but I dropped the show like five or six episodes in. I do want to give it another chance because everyone swears up and down it's the best show ever and that they cried. But I've had a few shows like that where people tell me that and I drop it anyway. So I don't remember anything about the opening. I can imagine that this is one that I just skipped every time because I was just wanting to get the story over with and binge it in one day, but that I didn't like it. So I probably didn't even listen to the opening. So let's go for it, guys. Let's be very... <laughs> Not judging it by the show, apparently I'm the weird one who didn't like it and everyone else loves it, but let's go for it. All right, all right. Already, I, I really like that intro. I feel like it's very different. It's, mm -hmm. you know, I, just, I don't know. I really like the tone of the guitar mm -hmm. and that cool, like, harmonic thing they did. I like it. Okay, so the vocals are pretty, you know, soft male vocals. I like the tone of it. It's very chill. Kind of gives me singer songwriter vibes. Okay, harmonies. I hear them. I hear them. They're high. All right, I like the little time thing that they're doing here. Kind of half timey. Oh, I like the little ding. I really, I do <laughs> like the little pause in between the climax and whatever's about to happen. So the vocals got pretty intense there for a second. I'm going to go back and listen to that again. But they kind of came back down, and I think I was expecting it to stay, like, more, I don't know, like, emotional, maybe? Let me mm -hmm. find it. Yes. Let me go back. I just noticed something. Let me see if I hear it through the rest of the song. Because that this may give it po points if it's what I think it is. Ooh, I think it's only at the end. I'm going to check for it at the beginning to make sure I didn't miss it. Hold on. <gasps> it's there. Ivan, do you know what I'm talking about? The clock? Yes. I did not notice that at 
all in the beginning. I didn't catch it. At the end, though, the clock is ticking a little faster. Yes. So I definitely heard it then. Interesting. I did not notice that. Okay. So that one was possible. Okay. That's. Well, that was really cool finding that clock at the end. That. And just that alone can tell you something about the story. Mm -hmm. Like maybe time's going by too fast. Maybe time is slipping away and you want to make the best of it. Or did I make the best of that time? That's really cool. It's kind of powerful. Just such a, you would not think a ticking clock could be that powerful, but it definitely is. It, it, it tells you so much about the story already. Um, but of course, I'm trying not to look at it visually too much, but... I do really like the clock is in there. I did not even catch that. Okay. So, um, I like it. Am I in love with it? <laughs> but I do like it. It's a nice, cute little song. I wish there was something in it that I was like, whoa, or that's deep or man, you know, something that really pulled at the heartstrings. I'd say the chorus did right when it started after that little and then the chorus started and it got it picked up and got a little bit powerful but then he immediately kind of went back down to that chill zone and so i actually i like the song because it's chill mm -hmm. um i actually for me it is playlist worthy Ooh. because it's chill uh my anime playlist is a lot of obviously hard rock super high tempo high energy songs but some days i'm like dude no like, sometimes I'm so stressed out that I'm like, I want something chill. What on this playlist can possibly be chill? This is the song I would go to on that day where I'm like, I don't want anything crazy. I just want to relax and feel just peaceful. This is definitely that one that I would reach for on those days. Um, and I could definitely see myself like learning the words to it. Um, it, it sounds very poetic, although I don't know the words. Um, but I do have to dock some points as far as complexity I'd say it's not super complex. It does just kind of follow a typical pop formula, but the clock at the end, I'm trying to decide where to add that in. And actually the clock probably goes under bonus points for originality. Okay. Um, so complexity score isn't gonna be too high. The vocals and instruments weren't doing anything too crazy that I got really excited about. Mm. Um, and it wasn't the most, it was a very, um, typical set of instruments you know just a typical mm. band and a singer um so complexity score it's okay you know originality though definitely has more um adding the clock in and having it start at the beginning barely noticeable which is why i didn't even notice it the clock was ticking mm -hmm. very slowly but by the end of the song it was double time da, 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 mm -hmm. and i could really hear it um, originality score is definitely going to be higher. Mm. Uh, and catchiness, it's kind of like middle of the road catchiness. Okay. The chorus is okay, but it's nothing that like I picked up on super fast, even listening to it multiple times. So catchiness is okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. So let me, and it's definitely playlist worthy for me. Um, I'm always looking for things that are a little bit different. And so for a ballad, um, this one does still have some things in it that are a little different that would bring me to come back to it rather than be like, oh, I've heard this a thousand times. I would definitely be coming back to that. So let's see. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I've got my score. All right. Time, time to time, time to deliver the goods. Time to deliver the goods. I've got my my hero notebook. <laughs> nice. All right, you want to go first? Yes. Okay. So for fruits basket, for complexity, I gave it an eight point five. The vocals added a lot of complexity to the song. But sadly, the instruments were not. They, they were, the, the piano was giving a very nice thing at, at the beginning, playing up with the vocals. Sadly, it did not keep up later in the song. 
Mm -hmm. uh, then for originality, I give it a seven because it was a very, very, very typical format. Dragon chat. No, I'm just kidding. I <laughs> <laughs> just trying to encourage the comments. To <laughs> yeah. You I insider. Just, like, I can get made up fun of. <laughs> uh, now for catchiness, I gave it a nine. Because for me, Ooh, it wow. was very, very catchy. Uh, for a ballad, the way it pulls you in and makes... Even if you've never watched the show, the song in itself can make you feel nostalgic. Makes you feel like remembering those those times and the way it does it is by increasing and adding more instruments as the song unfolds so catchiness was a nine playlist worthy a hundred percent yes so with that the song got an 8.2 for me wow okay <laughs> trying not to wear anything on my face i should just talk like this <laughs> okay go 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 okay class <laughs> for complexity i gave this one a seven Ooh, that's okay. pretty low um it just it followed the super typical formula as far as instrumentation vocals nothing super complex st stuck out to me the vocalist got a little high-pitched you know toward the chorus but it, I don't think it was anything he struggled to sing. I think mm. it was very just comfortable in his wheelhouse. Nothing wrong with that, but the complexity score is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, originality, I gave it an eight. Okay, um, okay, okay. The clock added like a whole point for me. That was going to be a seven for mm. originality because it did sound like things that I've heard before. But then that clock, when I heard it, I went, nah, -uh. and then I, when it, mm. I didn't think it was going to be at the beginning. I was like, maybe it's only at the end. But when I went back to the beginning and actually found it, I had a new respect for whoever wrote this because that's a really cool detail that I don't think I've ever heard anything like that. So you got an extra point on originality. Catchiness, I gave it an eight because now here's the thing. When something is not complex it's catchier because it's simpler uh, and people catch on to simple. So I think if I heard this like one more time, I'd be humming the chorus for sure. Like, so catchiness got an eight. So it's also for me playlist worthy. So that gave it an extra point. And I'm sad to say, because I love to win that you got an eight point oh, six. Oh, nice. Oh, Anohana. I might be too generous because <laughs> oh. it is what it is. We're all being honest here. Okay, okay. I hate Anohana. defeat, damn it. I'm just going to sip my appy juice. <laughs> the vodka. I hate you. <laughs> well, awesome. Guys, let us know in the comments down below if you agree or disagree with our rating. Again, we're trying to be as unbiased as possible and giving credit where credit's due. At the end of the day, we're doing this just for the sake of the music, enjoying a little banter back and forth, but clearly, clearly showing who has a better music taste. So with that said, thank you so drag much. Drag him in the comments. <laughs> drag him. <laughs> No, they're probably gonna drag me too. It's okay. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm. I gotta say, fruits. Fr that that intro, fruits basket, is pretty freaking dope. They were both so good. This was a great episode. Love yeah. it. All right, guys. Let us know in the comments down below what other genre or theme you want us to pick for the next battle, or which two songs you think they would be uh, good contenders against each other. Let us know in the comments. Like and subscribe. Do all that shit. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye.